Hello. I'm looking at a new product to me this week. Um, some time back, I actually uh, received some old 172 figures from my brother-in-law, which I, you know, did some work on and then traded, and uh, had a little bit of money to spend. Now you may recall, just recently, I went to the uh, Partisan Game Show. Well, while I was there, um, I came across these, and basically what it is, it's uh, like a latex road system, um, and all you've got to do, apparently, is paint it and then highlight, dry brush it, um, but I just like the look of it, I mean, it, there's, there's quite a bit of it in each kit, it's got crossroads and everything else, I mean, I'll open one up in a minute. But, uh, I mean, for me, it was quite a big spend. If I'd not had those uh, soldiers to part with, I wouldn't have been in a position to get it. But I'd never seen it before. And I thought, well, you know, I thought I'd just give it a try. And uh, so I thought, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked at it till now. But I thought I could perhaps uh, open it up and, you know, you can have a look at it with me and see what you think. So... Let me just uh, open up one of these bags and I'll bring you back. Right, so let's just tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, from a company called Early War Miniatures, or EWM Scenics. And uh, the kit that I've opened uh, is supposed to contain six straights, one half straight, two bends, two T-junctions, and one crossroad and it's boasting that it's over 2.5 meters of roads in total and the price for that was 51.50 now as i said it's uh, a latex material as you can see it's easy text to contour it's tough enough and it lies brilliantly flat to anything that I'm pouring it on. One quick thing that I've noticed, I've had a bit of a bonus, I think, by the looks of it, because it talked about six straights. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in my packet. So whether I've just been lucky, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, the effect of the cobbles is pretty good to say the least and that's you know without any painting effects on it these are obviously the uh, open road ones the other pack which I'll show you later has got uh, paving stones and that's for the towns themselves Right, now, and let's have a look at the instructions, because I, I was told that it's really simple. The main thing that the, the, the chap that sold them to me was emphasising, and they're emphasising it on here as well, is that only to use water-based acrylic paints on it. Well, that's fine, because that's all I use anyway. Um, and what they're suggesting is that you paint the the darkest base color first and then dry brush over it once it's dry with two lighter shades of the same color but what they do say is that the latex itself as you can see um is actually colored to what they say should be about the right base color so they're saying that that first coat wants to be fairly lightly done because it's already at the right colour. It's just to help adhere the other paints. So what it's saying is step one is the base coat, not too heavy. Then you've got to let that dry and then highlight with lighter stone colours once it's dry. And uh, use watered down PVA glue with a splash of green paint along the edges of the road which is obviously this raised bit as you can see the side of the road 
So it's the same PVA for that and a little bit of green paint. And covering a grass effect flock. Yep, yeah, got plenty of that, so that's not a problem. And fill in between the grass patches with a brown or plain green as required. Now, what is some uh, like safety things and care things it's talking about for these as well? I'll read it because, as I say, I'm unfamiliar with these. It says to try and avoid prolonged exposure to high and low temperatures as it may cause curling of the pieces if not affixed permanently to a surface. If your road system develops curling or is stored badly and develops a kink, this can be addressed by applying some reverse pressure. Roll it up against the curl and it will correct it. Do several times if, if required. But avoid bending and kinking it if you possibly can. Um, and what they're saying as well, which is interesting to know, because I mean you never know how much of this you're going to use, is that they do do individual pieces, presumably on their website. Um, if I remember, I'll attach a link to that at the bottom of my um, at the bottom of the video. So essentially, that's it. So it's a light base coat, and presumably in a similar grey to this, and then a few lighter coats to bring it to lot, the dry brushing to bring it to life. So what I'm going to do is I'll get set up, and we'll apply some base coats, and then you can see what it looks like. Right, let's give this first one a go. I'm not sure whether it should be watered down or not. I'm going to try it neat initially. I'm going to be sparing with it like it said. not too bad that seems to be going on a lot better I've not added a lot of water but just a bit just to thin it down a little bit and going on I'm doing it in swirling motions to make sure I get it you know all over and then sweeping it out afterwards I'm not going to bother with the edges right now. I'm going to just focus on the grey base coat. There we go. I'll just uh, lift it up for you to look at. Uh, you can see that it's not lost its... Cobblestone pattern. That's looking okay. So that's the first one. It looks fairly bright when it's going on, but I think it will 
uh, go a little bit darker as it goes on. You know, once it starts drying, you know how paint is, it always seems to look brighter when you first put it down. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, carry on doing these and then I'll bring you back and show you what it's drying out like and uh, we'll have a closer look at it. Right, so I've put down the first coat on these. Uh, I've not done the dry brushing yet. I'm going to leave that until last. But I thought what I'd have a, do, have a go at is um, painting these muddy banks on either side of the road and affixing some uh, sawdust scatter. Now, what I've done is I've, I've mixed it 50-50 paint with PVA. And I'm going to paint this on and then sprinkle this sawdust rough pasture that I got from uh, Geek Gaming. I'm trying not to get it on the road, obviously. I think because uh, I'm putting this down quite carefully and you know not too big a layer I probably have to do one side at once and then the scatter otherwise it might dry out before I can put the scatter on it and you can see just going along the edges of it Thinking about it, ideally, it's going to be best to try and get both sides of each piece done. And that way I haven't got to disturb it, so I'm going to try and speed it up on this side a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one, it makes sense to have it the furthest away for the scatter. Right. So this is the type I'm going for because it's got a bit of a bit of a mixture to it already. Not a reasonable coat of it. Obviously, a lot of this will shake off once it's dry. But and to be honest, if you do get the odd patch of uh, bare brown, it's it's not really going to take away from the look anyway. It's it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, unnatural for it to look that way. I mean, to be honest, when this is uh, thoroughly dry, when I've done them all, you know, I'd, and when I've done the uh, dry brushing, I'll probably give it, um, you know, try and seal it a little bit anyway, just to be sure. Because obviously with it being flexible, you want to make it 
so it's not going to come off every time you get the roads out so but that's the first one done I'll try and bring it a little bit closer for you to see I've just got a fairly even coat over it at the moment Right, I'll press on and get the rest of these done and then the other two batches as well and then I'll bring you back. Right, so they're all uh, edged up now. I've uh, done the uh, side pieces of the road and sealed it and I've also put a few streaks on the actual uh, roadway as well. But now I'm going to start the highlighting and... Uh, I've mixed it up to this uh, lighter colour and then I'm brushing off the excess. one's fairly uh, fairly close to the original colour so you're not seeing a great deal of difference but it'll help build up the uh, texture of it so I'm going to do all of them with this coat and then a slightly lighter coat so I've given these now um, a bit of a brush over with a lighter colour and uh, washed it in a bit but now what I'm going to do, um, now that that's bedded down, I'm going to go over it with some Army Painter Spaceship Exterior to actually do some of the more detailed highlighting of the actual stones. So I'm going to take my time with this bit a bit more. And uh, I mean, they, 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 they could have been left as they were, but... I just think they needed a little bit of something else just to bring them more to life. So I'm, I'm going to go over all of these again now with this. Very light, just picking up odd stones here and there. And uh, I may or may not touch up some of the edging as well. Um, there are the odd spot where it's lost some of its uh, flock. Um, you know where I didn't put it on so heavy but I wanted to have some bare patches but I might just touch them down a bit with a bit of uh, a lighter brown but uh, I'll get these done first and then I'll bring you back and show you what they look like once they've been highlighted right so they're all finished now I've highlighted uh, you know little bits of the stones of the cobble in the lighter spacecraft exterior colour and I've also been touching up the grass here and there with some different tones of green and then some mud as well to you know like blend in with it right so I'm just letting them dry now but as you can see it's uh, worked out really well it's caught the stones you know, and basically all I've done is followed their instructions. I've, um, you know, perhaps played around with the grass a little bit more than they said, but that's just me, you know, being me. So, but uh, what I've done is I've just introduced a few different tones of the green and the, and some brown for the mud to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um... Same on the T-junction. 
see it looks like it's caught the light and and the dust and things on the road but it it's uh the ridges along the edge that they've done are quite quite natural and they look good when you you know some of the bolder parts you know to catch them in mud as well it looks quite effective I and mean, all in all i'm really pleased with them you know they, they they will look the part i mean i've got a multitude of different styles of road some that i've made myself um others by other people but uh no these are pretty good and i would imagine you know if you were going to put down a solid uh gaming table these could really look good on that as well but i mean as you know my setup is i've just got a dining room table but these will definitely look the part on there and they'll blend in quite well now that I've got the mud on it with uh, some of the battle mats that I've got. So a quick little job really. So, you know, it's probably not for everybody. I mean, obviously you've got the initial expense, but I don't know. I mean, look, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full lengths, two curves, two T-junctions, a crossroads and a short piece. It doesn't really work out a lot when you think about it. You know, even at the £50, it doesn't work out much for a piece. And, uh, you know, you've got a good little setup that you can arrange. I mean, there's nothing to stop you cutting these, I suppose, if you wanted to, and having a few more half ones. So, But uh, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with them. And as I say, although I've got other roads, I'll certainly find a use for these. I'm um, going to let these dry, but what I will do is I'll uh, open up the other bag um, shortly, and you'll be able to see the uh, Town Street ones. Now, they are of more interest to me than these in a way, because as I say, I've got similar roads to these. But the fact that they've got the paving stones built in, that that sounds pretty good for me. Um, you know, I'll be interested to see what they turn out like. But on the whole, I'm really pleased with them. And they are, you know, they're simple to do. You know, just take your time with them, they're dead easy. Um, right, I'll get these put to one side and let these dry. And uh, I'll open up the other bag and let you have a look at what they look like right so I've opened up the uh, second bag and these are described as town streets multi-pack um, and basically in this set you get the two T-junctions and the four straights which is plenty for a small town anyway because you know you can have houses putting up to each of these so you you really wouldn't use a lot more than this and um, the procedure for painting them is exactly the same. What they're suggesting is the darkest colour uh, for the base. And they're suggesting it doesn't really need to be a lot darker than, than these are. Although I did go a little bit darker on my other ones. And then when that's dry, to bring it up with two dry brushes of increasingly lighter uh, finishes. You know to pick out all the detail so it's exactly the same procedure as the original ones with the exception there's no there's no grass to go with on these so i'll get these done i won't bring you along on it because it's basically the same preparation but i'll show you the effect at the end right so i've completed the uh town streets now i've uh decided to leave the pavement just a little bit lighter than the road. I mean, it, 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 it's your choice, really. Um, the only thing I did find a, a little bit on the uh, paving stones is even when applying the paint really finely, some of the detail wasn't you know, up. It's there, but you can barely see it. So there was very much for any dry brushing to pick up on. So what I did try and do is emphasise some of it 
with a little bit of uh, wash and then blend it back in um, because I mean there are areas where you can see it quite clearly but then other bits where obviously the mould hadn't quite caught it but it's caught it enough to actually you know be effective but it you know compared to the actual road itself where the you know the uh, the mould is really clearly cobbled some of the pavements weren't quite so good but uh, nevertheless you know I'm pleased with it it's certainly going to look the part you know when I play on a set up a small town on a battlefield in my case it'll probably be uh, Arnhem um, but all in all I'm pretty pleased with it I mean they're very easy to do you know so if you don't feel overconfident to you know do all the other methods that you can to make roads you know be it using rollers or you know whatever you decide to use it is a very simple process this um, and there's no no denying it, it it lies really flat and it'll look the part it's lightweight easy to store so all in all I'm pretty pleased with them to be honest I think in a way I like the uh, the uh, countryside ones you know with the green verge a little bit better but no pretty good you'll have to forgive this being a little bit wobble cam but uh, right you can see it all together now both packs so I've got my countryside ones and then we've got the town streets So as you can see, there's quite a lot of it. I mean, what you're looking at there is uh, just over a hundred pounds worth of uh, latex roads. I mean, as I say, I do make a lot of my own roads and had it not been for the fact that, you know, I'd, I'd got the money from the sale of other things, so it was just a big treat for me to try out but um, if you're in the market for this kind of st stuff and you want something with you know good detail and easy to make it's not a bad a bad little system and as I say storage storage wise and the fact that it's lightweight is definitely in its favour. Right, with that I'll uh, I'll sign off. Hope you found it interesting. Do you know whether or not it's your 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 bag? Um, but at the end of the day, I thought it was worthwhile to actually you know show you a different product that's out there. Um, I was surprised when I seen it and thought you know yeah, I'd like to give it a try. So, uh, it, anyway, I um, hope you've uh, found something of interest. And if you have, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, please consider subscribing and uh, clicking that bell. And that way you'll hear, you know, whenever another one of my videos drops. And if there's any questions you want to ask about this, Please feel free to drop me a comment. I always reply. All right. Okay then. See you next week. Bye.